how to get patience over the fear of self cannulation. And this is called tandem hand cannulation. This is used by next stage. What we do here is using touch cannulation, I come over and place the needle on top of the patient's arm in the cannulation position. Then the patient comes over and puts their hand on top of my hand, the thumb behind my thumbnail and the other finger behind my index finger. Then we just push, the only thing that moves is these two pieces here. As you can see, the patient at the same time feels it. So when the actual cannulation takes place, as I push in, they get to feel everything that's going on with this needle until it goes. So you do this for three times. Then the last three times we change and the patient takes over and does this. Put the palm of your hand down. You've got to change this angle here a little bit. So bring the needle up. So you're at the angle you want to be at. Then I put my hand over the top of hers in the same place and we do the same motion now. She actually cannulates like this, as you can see. What this does, it builds confidence up in the patient that they can do this position. To go and stick anything in your arm without some assistance, it's very hard to do. But when you're doing with cannulation, the tandem part of it here, it gives a patient the confidence that they can do this. After that, then they are asked whether they want to continue self-cannulation or they want a staff member to, to help them out. Either way, they have learned a very important lesson in the actual cannulation of what takes place during this time period.